today we are going to see about what is software we use. Before we are going to discuss about what is software we use, we will discuss about what is we use in general. In general, reuse is being used in all aspects of software, like software, technology, marketing, and agricultural departments. In all software, reuse is being used. We use it generally in the discuss about that. Using the existing component or data, you produce a new component or modify the content or upgrading the system. Uh, for example, if you take a car, car is an example. In the car, the uh, main thing like a steering, the brake, and the four wheels, it has been designed before uh, some years, before the, uh, uh, 20 or 30 years. Now, also, we are, we are using the same concept or design. We are reusing the existing design to produce the this component with the minor upgradation or based on the specification we will do this. This is a great example for us. Great. In this software, we have five different phases of requirement, design, coding, testing, and the deployment. In the starting of requirement, we are creating SRS document. We are going to reuse the SRS document if we get the same kind of requirement. And then design. Design is act as a platform of the system. This is like a blueprint, like a planning in a system. It say what is the modules are available, how the data flow happened between the two modules, how the data is available with the design. With the architecture design, we can think whether we, are, we can do the reuse or not. In the, if we got a new requirement, based on the requirement, we can check whether uh, this kind of project are already been done in a company or not. This is done. We have checked the blueprint. Uh, blueprint uh, now, whether uh, this kind of same module has been developed, if same kind of module has been developed, we can take that uh, design part and then incorporate in our new design. And then, based on the design, we can go to the coding part. In the coding, we can take the specific module or the class or the function needed for our uh, new project. Take it and then uh, uh, incorporate in our new project. And then, testing. In the testing phase, we have already created a test plan. We can play the test plan again for testing the project. Like uh, after the testing, we can do the regression testing to check whether our system is working good or not. And then implementation. If it has been a reused component, it has been well suitable for the system. It makes the less uh, less uh, development cost and time period. Okay. We are going to see about the advantages this are the reuse. In the advantages, in a the reused component and module is being well tested that make our development time will be reduced, testing time will be reduced, and then the resource person needed to complete a new project also be reduced. Probably uh, it make a cost effective model. And then uh, it is help to uh, if uh, the model has been developed, uh, developed uh, the reused component. We get the feedback from the uh, customers like uh, whether what is the problem with this previous, what are the uh, good things. We can uh, we use the new things and then we use that with the previous reuse component is already been well defined. And this is We need to maintain the entire project for a period of how long and we don't know when we are going to use that. For that we can maintain the projects and all the projects works, related to the documents, we will be in the past For maintaining the past work, it is being reported. Next, we are going to see about how the software reuse is being First of all, we will see what is software. Software, anything that can be stored electronically is software. Example, microword. In the microword, we are using uh, to type uh, that has been stored in electronic mode. It is generally developed by software firms for the client under formal business contract. In the business contracts, uh, uh, like IT company, they will give some requirement, basic requirement. Based on that. Uh, the software company will develop a software for that company business. This generally requires some modification from time to time to accommodate changes taking place in the organization and the environment. Based on the organization environment, they are developing uh, different kinds of software. Based on the environment in the uh, company, they are developing the software on that environment. Ethical issues like protecting privacy are also taken into consideration in designing software. While designing the software, we need to maintain that ethical issues like uh, the data must be in so confidential. If it is lost, the company is going to get uh, down. Now, 
what is software reuse now software reuse is the use of existing software or software knowledge to build new software for an individual or an organization so if you are going if you got the requirement first we search about the reusable component whether it, uh, this kind of project we have done before based on that some review we can do that software reuse software reuse is also called as code reuse mainly we are focusing on other two aspects one is design aspect and the coding aspect systematic software reuse is still the most promising strategy for increasing productivity and improving quality in the software industries example of software reuse software library like the java java program we are always importing a library library function like import java at i would start it is a best example for software reuse it has been a predefined uh, syntax uh, function has been there we are reusing the functions uh, by importing that library function what is the purpose of reuse we are doing the reuse because of which uh, we get the product in cheaper product and a better quality product we will get why cheaper product because it include shorter development time easier maintenance yeah because already some of the model has been developed before we are just going to yeah integrate with our new module make the timing be less and then maintenance cost also been less because it is already been developed and then that maintenance is been done better quality product code that was written for reuse should as better specification and should be thoroughly tested yeah before we have developed the software that the software is always been uh, tested then only it is going to give to the customer place then that code is been we get a better quality because we already got the feedback from the customer also based on that we can easily change it now it is a pure good product what are the advantage of reuse for adapting the reuse what we will going to get we are going to get increase software productivity shorten the dev software development time improve software system interoperability develop software with fewer people yeah because most of the some part of work is already done we need some kind of people only need, need to do with this new project move personal more easily from project to project reduce software development and maintenance cost obviously it is going to reduce our, our development time and maintenance cost also been reduced produce more standardized software because already we got the feedback for the some modules it something some modules only we are going to develop new and then integrate we are going to do the regression testing and then we are going to submit to the client place produce better quality software and provide a powerful competitive advantage what is reusable in this uh, in the software project what are the components are going to be reused application system subsystem components module object function or procedure we are going to reuse this kind of uh, components in the project first of all we are going to check only the architecture diagram of the system based on the diagram we can uh, decide whether we need this kind of module Blu uh, architecture diagram act as a blueprint of the system this obviously help us to decide what is the component can be reusable we need to develop uh, our architecture we can copy the architecture diagram part also been to our system what are the stages of reuse development first of all we need to identify domain and then identify classable reusable abstractions identify design program language construct that support reuse mostly uh, c uh, does not support reuse java obviously no we to support reuse like that cobol boa fortran that's not support study and formulate language reuse guidelines study and formulate domain reuse guideline reuse assessment assess component based on the guidelines reuse improvement modify and improve this component sometimes we are going to reuse the improvement the existing project by using the reuse component that means you have to be very careful on this that there is no need of changes types of 
this uh, general reuse industries how the industry is doing in not uh, specific on software based on re industry considering motivation and driving factors reuse can be uh, opportunity or planned Opp opportunity while getting ready to begin a project the team realized that there are existing components that can be reused if, uh, if you have got the requirement first of all we need to check whether the this kind of project or domain uh, we already worked or not this is a new domain means we need to uh, do on the scratch if the domain already done what kind of component we are going to do this now this uh, project is related to this uh, like, like like for example the car company if a car company they are going to manufacture the same model like a uh, steer four wheels brake these are the common and then pattern for the car this can be reused if the uh, uh, brake uh, brake system need little changes then also the total brake system it can be changed some of the component has been reused yeah and then plan a steam strategically design components so that they will be reusable in future projects we need to plan according to that uh, that the, the project can be reusable types of software reuse in industry now now we are going to speak about software reuse in industry uh, in there are two types well, first of all application system reuse component reuse application system reuse it is concerned with reuse and entire application inside another like modifying a program or update upgrading the uh, existing system we are totally used the existing software and then we are doing some upgradation and then we are release uh, it to a client we are uh, reuse ex entire component and then now uh, component reuse it is concerned with components of one application reused in another application for example uh, banking sector we have now the company got a, a backing from icic bank uh, if he finish and then submitted to the bank now uh, he got uh, uh, he got a requirement from uh, grama uh, grama bank for that they can reuse the some components for icic bank it is a uh, they have models are different for this is a grama bank grama bank for that uh, models are little different because they are going to work in some local areas but they are doing in some cities places good like that we need to do some alteration what are the barriers to make software available for reuse increase maintenance cost lack of tool support lack of knowledge because we need to maintain the entire software in our repositories for that we need to maintain we need to spend some money lack of tool support yeah now uh, the present tools are not support reuse they can't uh, calculate what kind of what are the module developed as a um, software project management tool they can know how what is present they are doing but it is a past work they can't uh, incorporate the past work in the present that's a problem in a tool lack of knowledge we can know what kind of knowledge the current developer have because they are reusing it we need uh, it uh, this knowledge can't be shown well these are the barriers for software reuse this are total it's very very important important this line somewhat this important not very important not important totally network king how reuse network cost of development is somewhat important mm. like that's concern over loss housing intellectual property yeah if intellectual property ip this is not very important but the it cause so much of problem if you have patterned some product or some kind of method if you want to use that method or reuse that method we need to get a permission from them after only we can be able to use that pattern or method something support and maintenance is very important approaches that support reuse some of approaches are can support reuse some approach not support reuse like agile methodology it doesn't support reuse because that main the uh, lack of documentation in agile so uh, approach support reuse are architecture patterns design pattern component based development application framework legal system wrapping service oriented system erp system erp system enterprise planning enterprise planning this is a basic of how to run a business from the world to now 
they have taking some components and then made the software architecture patterns there are some patterns are already been fixed based on the pattern we are developing means we will get some good amount of result compared to doing from scratch what are the issue with reusable component if you are reusing component some kind of issue we are going to face higher cost of developing reusable component performance issue generic component may be less space efficient and may have longer execution time than specific equivalent yeah, yeah reuse means it has been developed before at that time they are they are near a less space efficient machine they are developed their execution time has been more than more before previous project now we are more concerned about the time complexity space complexity if you are developing code we are not just uh, satisfied with the developing code we need to compare a space and the time space means a uh, memory resource needed for to execute the program and the time we are mainly concerned this two factor but this make a little problem for this conclusion a good software reuse process facilitated the increase of productivity quality reliability and decrease the cost and implementation time by far the most important part of the reuse process is the people based on the people the reuse is being developed if the people in the organization do not understand the concept begin reuse and do not see the benefit reuse won't happen yeah reuse process and process must be incorporated into the existing software development process yeah if we want to develop a reuse component that kind of software already need to be reused by they need to uh, uh, do all the steps and process of the life cycle model has been done if you missed any something then only we then we can't do the reuse thank you thank you all